When I was dating, my game that I played was I ain't doing shit, <laughs> but I'll match you. That's it. There's no game about that. There's no game. That's the thing. I'm not playing games. I literally changed my mindset and it took some practice because I was so used to either just allowing a bunch of BS or, you know, trying to take the lead and pursue them or whatever. But when I finally got to that place where I realized that my life depends on this, like literally after almost dying from dating a man, I was like, wow, I really got to learn how to stop just accepting this. And I've been groomed into accepting this basically from the way I was brought up, from what men had done to me from a from young age. But I was also groomed by patriarchy itself to accept BS. All of us have been. And so when I realized this is life or death, I don't, like, how do I stop doing this? So I basically kind of start acting like a man <laughs> but i need to act like the person that my friend would you know be for me right no games literally just being patient dating lots of dudes at the same time and open about that right not lying about it but like i know that i have a lot to offer and so i had to learn how to be patient just watch what they do and instead of listen to what they say i mean i listen to what they say because a lot of times they tell on themselves but in terms of like promises and like future talking and stuff mm -hmm. I mean, I've worked with a lot of addicts in my life, and I was a an addict for a long time. And one thing I learned is that I don't, I, I stop listening to people. I, I collect information. I pay attention when they talk. But in terms of, like, I'm an action-oriented person. Don't tell me what you're going to do. Don't tell me you love me. Like, okay, whatever. Show me. Show me. So, yeah, I literally didn't do shit. I just sat and watched that's what I did. That's not a game. And I get why, like, if you want to tap out, you should tap out. If you know, if you, if you don't haven't been following me for a long, I'm, I'm, I'm here to support all the stages of grief around dating men. Cause mo I don't know a woman who hasn't been really traumatized either little T or like 25 big T's, but, um, opting out is honestly the best for a lot of us. Again, I don't know if you know my story, but I, opt I mean, I'd for, 12 of my adult years, in my 20s and early 30s, 12 of those years I was completely celibate, not even kissing dudes. Not all consecutively, but I tapped out and I really encourage women to tap out. But if you're in that stage of like not tapping out and you want to date, there, there's no rules. There's no set of rules that's going to protect you, first of all. A lot of it is based on all your healing. It's based on nuance. It's based on paying attention. It's also based on bringing your community in so that they can help you see things you can't see for yourself. And most importantly, it's about just paying attention, watching, watch what they do, being patient and looking for consistency, matching energy. But I'm never going to be 60, 60% 60 here, 40% there. Never. So even with my husband, I was like really excited about him, but I knew from experience not to get too excited. So I waited and day by day, consistently, no love bombing. No grand gestures. I'm not saying grand gestures are always a bad thing, but for me, I don't give a crap about them because they don't mean anything. Not, to, I mean, especially if you know me well, you know that I don't want a grand gesture. It's these little details that I paid attention to and I was like, dang, this man thinks about me a lot. He pays attention. He knows the names of all of my, my sister, my stepmom, all my friends. He remembers all the details of my story because he's listening. He's texting me consistently and in a timely manner. He's the one initiating texts. I always respond but he's initiating, like I just let this man do his thing. And I saw over, you know, a period of time consistently, this dude really likes me and I really like him, but honestly, I've been burned so many times, I don't believe it. So I was patient and he was patient too. A mature man is not gonna like throw a bunch of stuff at you and be impulsive because uh, you know, a guy like, I don't want a guy who can't contain his excitement for me because it's going to scare the crap out of me. Anyway, I don't know if any of this is helpful, but being really interested and in love bombing are not at all the same thing. And I think that I'm getting this comment, not for yours, but a lot of comments in that video. Yeah, he should be more interested. But if he's love bombing and just putting on too much too fast and is like that the pace is, is, is it's no, I'm not chasing dudes. But also if you are like way too into me, you're scaring the crap out of me, dude. And that's a huge red flag. I don't know. I hope that helps. For anybody who is tapping out, I see you, I respect you, and do your thing.
don't let a man ruin your life because you really don't have to date. <laughs> you don't. 